Um. Yes, welcome back to Balloon Cartridge. This is Trevor here, and I am here with Josh. Hello. We're back with more Banjo Tooie, not Kazooie. We wrapped up, uh. We're gonna try and wrap up this world, because we've been here for a while now, because there's a lot. There's just. The worlds are way bigger, and which explains why they put the warp pads, you know, around. Um, but. We're gonna try and wrap this up. I think we're almost finished. There's a few more things we gotta do first. Like go into this temple and fight the mini boss. Which we're gonna do. And we can also get 007 mode here. Look at that. First person Kazooie. Oh yeah. We get to shoot stuff. This is weird. You're like holding her by her neck. I know. Uh, you know That's the because <laughs> Cogger. Oh well, now it's how like she shoots. Now eggs. it's like Fucking first person shooting now? It's like Goldeneye! It's an FPS, yeah. And they put that uh, as a mini game in this for four people that can go around and uh, shoot uh, shoot stuff. Really? Yeah. This is like one of the mini games. Is like you get four. You can be like Mumbo and you can be like four people. Jeez, then, they got like ten games in this thing. Uh, dude, they got like a shit ton in this game. They, they pack this cartridge full of stuff, which, which is, is why it which runs like is, shit. Yeah, which is great. But also why it runs like shit. <sighs> okay, luckily I sort of semi remember most of the passages. But then again, I kinda don't. And there's a lot of shit in here. There's like Jinjos in here, so I gotta like kinda dig deep to find to find what I'm looking for. Holy shit. Okay, so they just have to shoot all the cats I see. How many of these do I have to get exactly? I don't remember how much he said. I wasn't paying attention. Let's see what's up here. This is the giant ass statue that's gonna fuck me up. God, I can't. You can't even like move very well with. Not bad, mortal. Ten statues gains you entry to my what slightly safe. What mortal? Fuck. Shit. Abandon ship. I wanted. Who was that? Like infinite ammo, basically. I wanted 250 milliliters. And you gave me 500. Some villages don't get any grape juice. <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> you are very fortunate to get any grape juice. I mean, well, you did ask. And, uh, I said that. <laughs> and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> uh, you do, what are you doing there? Are you shifting your weight? Yes, but in this scenario... <laughs> I asked for half the juice. <laughs> I don't remember you saying half until I. I was didn't ask it. for a lot of juice. Look, so I was you already, can't say that. So I was people... already, why do you? Why do you not want more juice? Tell me that. Look, <laughs> I want to understand. I don't have to explain. Why would you it? refuse just, the juice? All I said was, I why would you refuse my juice? What? Why are you harassing me? I'm just wondering. <laughs> like, I, I've never known anyone to refuse my juice before. <laughs> I, it's it boggles my mind. I just want half a <laughs> bottle. I wasn't that thirsty. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's a completely legitimate reason, and I can stop yelling at you for it. <laughs> stop harassing stop, me! Stop accosting me! Totally. It sounds like a baby. Eh. What? That. That? Well, yeah, On you rapid won, fire? One at a time. It's like a baby going like... It's, it's just Kazooie going... Car! Yeah. <gasps> Most impressive mortal. We are mortal, but we are wiped of memory. Memory. Wait. Jinjo. How do I get to that Jinjo? I will get you. I will find you. Have no fear. I can hear him. He whistles to you. Oh, shit. He calls for your aid. He calls Gondor for calls for aid. <laughs> That's the horn of Gondor. Good thing we got shrouds on these because I spit all over it. I wanna fucking watch those. <laughs> One of these doors will lead to you that. You know what we're not gonna watch is the fucking awful Hobbit movies. No, fuck those movies. Fucking awful! I'm so disappointed. And there's people who are like, dude, they're not that bad. No, like, they yes, are. they are. They are horrible. First of all, they change the ending. Thorin doesn't die on the ice. And he dies on the ice in the movie. That's not right. 
He dies. They changed so much. They changed a lot. They just added too much I was like, why would you shit. do that? They added to it. They didn't need... You didn't need a romance plot. No. You did oh, the not fact that they added uh, What's-Her-Face, she's not even in The Hobbit. She doesn't exist in Lord of the she's Rings. She's the only woman... She was created for the movie. She's not even in... Oh, really? The appendices. Okay, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Not, not yeah, having, like, not having read. like most of it, they just fucked with people who were elsewhere. Like, you know that they they offered Viggo Mor uh, Mortensen a role in that movie, in The Hobbit. Yeah, to play Aragorn. To play Aragorn. And he said no. Or they just Vigo, didn't, or they wrote him out of the movie. Vigo, like the real fucking man he is, they offered him a role. Yeah. And he said no. And the reason is because at the time of The Hobbit, mm -hmm. Aragorn was like eleven. That's true. Wow. Because he's like 80 in Lord of the Rings. Right. And he was like, no. He's like, Aragorn wasn't... Strider. He's like, he was a kid back then. Like, yeah. he wasn't even... Hmm. Because he has principles. Fucking Legolas also, I thought wasn't you're... in The Hobbit. Yeah, Legolas, putting Legolas back in and him jumping on the, the bridge as it's Awful. falling. I was like, okay, I, I know he walks on snow and he's light as air, but come on. That's just... That was just goofy. The first one... I, I couldn't even take that serious. I gave the first one the benefit of the doubt that it was a little bit more goofy than Lord of the Rings because it was based on yeah. a children's book. And I was like, okay, I can take it. The second one, no. I mean, the Desolation of Smog. Uh, that's Desolation the of my one, urinary right? tract. It just... That's what it just was. Just awful. And they just butchered it. They just friggin' went at it you with know, the, the hacksaw. It could have been better if they had just made maybe two movies. I would have been happy with just... Or not even... You know what? If they just did one, I would have been happy. But, uh... Didn't happen. They could have... You know what? You know, if they... At the end of Smog, when he runs towards the thing, I would have been happy if it just stopped there. I would have been happy and, if oh, they never really made me. them. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, yeah, but if... Uh, and then when Bilbo, at the end, very end of, of Smog, he says, What have I done? Why did he have to ha say anything? He could have just, like, exhaled, like, Oh, my fucking shit, what did I just unleash? Like, why did he have to say, What have I done? It just... That line was really kind of stupid. And you know and what? that killed the movie for me. A lot of things. And then the physics. Don't get me started on the physics. Yeah. The barrel riding just happened. It just yes. happens to hit the people right when they need to be hit. Yeah, just stupid. Like not just... to mention Legolas jumping on their heads and shit. The fucking guy spinning in the the whole things were they were all bad. Peter Jackson lost his mind while he was making you know King Kong or whatever. Dude was in the zone too. He oh, had, I know. He had King Kong. King Kong was okay. Oh, King Kong was. I like. I really like King Kong actually. I liked it a lot. Uh, the um, video game was great, based on that movie. Oh, is that? It was like really that's good. what it's based on. Video game? The, no, the King Kong video game. Based, oh, it was based, based yeah, on that movie. movie is really good. Oh, okay, interesting. So basically, yeah, Peter Jackson lost his mind and made the Hobbit movies. And I know it was all about money, and clearly it wasn't about you know, kind of it wasn't about the the cool, you know, the art of. Here's the thing. Of making a good good cinema, Lord of the Rings set the bar. Oh yeah, no, he there set the will, bar for there will probably so never things. be no. fantasy movies. Certainly not a series. Hell no, with such consistent quality, such quality of th care that are just yeah. I mean, you can't even top it. It's just you just can't. I mean, that everybody's acting is superb. Mm -hmm. There's not a single weak link in there. No, it's just. It's just ace. It's fantastic. And then the Hobbit movies just... Oh, Hobbit God. movies... The, God. I mean, Martin Freeman, I thought, was a good Bilbo. I thought it was good casting. Yeah, the casting was fine. The dwarves were cool. Um, Because, you know, well, who doesn't love dwarves because of Gimli? But seeing his, you know, seeing his father... And, I didn't like the casting of Thorne personally. Nah, I, I didn't think he was very The good. actor is fine, but I just don't like... The character wasn't likable, and I don't remember in the book, like, hate... Fuck! I just died. I remember him being, like, a little bit <sighs> distant towards Bilbo and stuff, but I don't remember him being, like, a huge dick. Right. He was a huge dick in the movies. Thorne. Thorn. Thorn Oak and Shield. Yeah, and then when they when they had Christopher Lee... No, it wasn't actually him, but it was, you know... Are you fucking kidding me? I gotta go all the way back. Ah. Uh, Son of a bitch. They had uh, Galadriel in in there too. I don't know if she's in the Hobbit. Is she in the Hobbit? Uh, 
I haven't read that book in ages. Yeah, it's been a while for me. Um, Galadriel. Yeah. I'm trying to think if they ever stumble upon... Because she's in there when they go... I don't think they ever go towards her domain or anything. Do you remember... Well, did you saw you saw Battle of Five Armies, right? I never saw the third one. Oh, okay. I, 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 I was you, too Then damaged. you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I was damaged far too much was, at that point to fucking bad. stomach seeing the next one. No, I, you know, it was funny because I saw it with James, and all we wanted to do during that movie was go home and play Warcraft. <laughs> Yeah. Because I'm like, man, this movie really wants to really made me want to play Warcraft, like, really badly. Warcraft movie? Warcraft movie, yes. I... I think they should have... I'm CG excited. I personally think they should have CGI'd the whole thing. He's gonna... Blizzard's CGI is excellent. Yeah, he's gonna... Well, what, according to Duncan Jones, he wanted to... He's gonna try... He wanted to try and be... This is the... This is the video game movie that's gonna break the video game movie curse, essentially. Is what he said in, like, an of interview. Of them being shit? Yeah. He's gonna. See, he, he's there, trying to class it up. And is there a single good video game movie that is that is passable? Mm, I heard Prince no. of Persia was okay. I never saw it. But kind of cheesy, just because of the nature of the. It looked kind of bad. Well, it looked bad because it, it, the the concept, like yeah, it's the just, whole stigma around it being. But uh, I heard it was passable. Let's see. I thought Doom. that Max Payne was an entertaining movie. Not Max a very, not, not a very not like good, a good movie. Not, not a, a good classy, adaptation like a, of the yeah of the source material. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I. They keep making Hitman Doom was bad, and they don't get it. Hitman is bad. Doom. Hitman would be cool if they did it right. Doom was entertaining. Doom was entertaining when I was yeah. younger. When it, yeah, yeah, when, we're talking. School, we're talking a good piece of film, not an entertaining movie. There's a difference. Oh yeah, no, absolutely, yeah. Film like like film versus Lost. movie or uh, like that's a movie. Like it's not a good piece of film, but no. it's an entertaining movie. Yes. Which is kind of I I kind of narrow it down to like it's a movie or a film and like, but you know whatever. Let's see. There's uh Tarantino's been wanting to do a Half Life movie for ages, but they won't let him. The problem with that because Gordon Freeman doesn't talk. Yeah, Gordon Freeman doesn't talk. You can't really have him. Although. Be... It... If they cast Hugh Laurie as Gordon Freeman, I will... Oh, fuck yeah. I will drink my own piss. I will drink my urine. <laughs> I will drink my lemonade. That'll be great. But that's the problem. It's hard to make a character of yeah. Gordon Freeman when he has no character. Right. Yeah, you can't really, uh... He's literally a nobody. Like, he's just... He's just there so that you have someone to play as. Yeah. And plus, in Half Life, there's no cutscenes. It's just constant. You're just like kind of playing constantly. And yeah, it's always from it's your point always of view. It's always in front of you, and you know the the action never the action is never disrupted. Is what the, the Valve guys said when they when they the reason why you, they made those. You games never like that. lose your your agency as a player. No. With Half Life, it's never taken from you in a cutscene. You're always in control of Gordon. Yeah. <sighs> Get pelted. And that's the wonderful thing about those games. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's basically just non-stop action. Let's see, video game movie. Christ. I don't think there's a single good one. I don't think so. Are you fucking me right now? Oh my god, I died again. What are you doing? Oh, you know what? I hit the spawn point, and the cat spawned, and it hit me. Nice. So fucking close. I need more health. Get back in here and challenge me the, for the my Silent prize. The Silent Hill movie was actually pretty. Silent Hill, yeah, uh, pretty disturbing. I don't, I don't, I don't again, think they're a great movie, but yeah, like not a did great. They make, did they make more than one of those? I don't well, know. the Silent Hill, the game that they want to make, or that they were making with Norman Reedus, that was like cinematic as balls, like the game itself. Oh yeah, uh, uh, what's it called? Silent Hills. Silent Hills, yeah. Yeah. Like the, the the leaked footage of that was amazing. Well, they had um, the the PT demo, which was scary. As that fuck. was scary as fuck. Yeah, we we watched that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. They uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go down the list of video list. game movies. All right. Super Mario Bros. was awful. Double Dragon was Drek. <laughs> Mortal, Com Mortal Kombat wasn't bad. Mortal Kombat was great. Yes. But campy as fuck. Yeah, campy as fuck. And pretty poorly acted <laughs> by literally everybody. Street Fighter. So Mortal Kombat, unfortunately, as much as I love that movie, goes in the 
It was in the category of entertaining movie rather than good piece of film. Yeah. Street Fighter was shit. Street Fighter was shitty. To, I didn't like it on any level. Um, um, not, not a fan. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Annihilation was awful. Oh, they did make a sequel to that, didn't they? Yeah, it was even worse. I sure did. Uh, I never saw Wing Commander. Wing Commander is a movie? It's a... yeah. Oh, shit. A science fiction film loosely huh. based on the video game series. Wow. Well. Yeah, well, here's how you know it's a bad movie. Yes. It stars... Uh, Freddie Prinz? Prince? Prince? Freddie Prince Jr.? Yeah. Uh, just... and Matthew Lillard. Oh boy. Yikes. So, you know it's gonna be bad. Yeah. Uh, then the Lara Croft Tomb Raider movie. Oh, yeah. It was awful. That could have been cool. What the hell is Final Fantasy The Spirits Within? The that's, fuck? that's that animated movie. Oh, so that doesn't count. Yeah, it's not really. I mean, it is bad. All the Resident Evils are bad. I don't know. The third entertaining. one. Entertaining. Entertaining, yeah. Not good. The first one was entertaining. I don't like the rest of them. Yeah. Those, I don't even know what the fuck they were thinking with those. They just, like, didn't even try to make it even close to the game. No. They were like, what if Mila Jovovich was, like, Master Chief? <laughs> <laughs> what if she just kept, like, dying but then having to restart over and over again? <laughs> uh, another Lara Croft movie. House of the Dead. I haven't seen Resident House of the Evil. Dead. Alone in the Dark was terrible. Doom was entertaining. Doom was entertaining. Blood Rain was bad. Blood Rain. Silent Hill was a passable horror movie, but not great mm -hmm. still. Yeah. Uh, Dead or Alive, nobody cares. Poster was crap. Dead or Alive. <laughs> can't even imagine. That's Resident Evil that Extinction. Is a movie. Hitman was terrible. The Timmy, Timothy Hitman, Olyphant Agent movie. 47. Was also, was also part of this that's even life. worse. Here's the thing: they don't, they don't seem to understand. God, damn it! <laughs> what are you doing? I need life. I can't do it without life. There's a bunch of honeycomb. No, no, like, I mean, yeah, those are there, but I'm getting like pelted at with that last one. You have to dodge them. We're gonna come back to that. Just dodge until them. I get some more life. I can't dodge them because it's hard to move. You gotta when you're, bob and weave. It's hard to move when you're. Uh, Anyways, so all the Hitman... Sorry, please continue. All the Hitman movies suck because they missed the entire point of <laughs> the Hitman games, which is to not get detected, and they think they're making, like... Not even Jason Bourne. Fucking Jason Bourne has more <laughs> goddamn finesse than... Yeah. Agent 47 in the Hitman movies. So those are both crap. Yeah. And uh, the second one is definitely a, a very poor piece of... Hmm. Piece of city. In the name of the King, a Dungeon Siege tale is one of the weirdest cases of a video game movie because Dungeon Siege is not a terribly popular series. What is e Dungeon Siege? Even though I like them, uh, the first two are like Diablo-esque style oh, dungeon okay. crawlers. Really good, really yeah. good games. Third one is, well, it's the same thing, except they changed it up a lot from the previous ones. Mm. All really good. So what about the movie? The movie's crap, although it does have Jason <laughs> Statham in it. Interesting. Then Max Payne, which I actually really like yeah. uh, myself, but I'm I'm was... man enough to say it's not a good piece of film. Yeah. It's pretty poor. It's got fucking what's her face in it who can't act. Who? The girl from Black Swan. Mila Kunis? Yeah. Oh. She could act in Black Swan, but she could Yeah, she's alright. She couldn't act in like anything else. Yeah. And the fact that they thought that her name was going to carry a movie in Jupiter Ascending, they were gravely... And Channing Tatum. And Channing Tatum. Like, the Mila Kunis that, can't carry... What's weird is Channing Tatum just came off of uh, uh, the Fox... Uh... uh, Magic Mike? No. The one that was like a serious contender with Steve Carell. Oh, Foxcatcher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see that. that I didn't good? see that. No, I, that I heard looked, it was amazing. That looked excellent. Yeah, that looked really good. I need to watch that. Seeing, like... Uh, seeing comedian, like, guy, actors yeah, that are generally known at, for, like, being funny, but seeing them do serious roles, I love seeing that. That was amazing to me. Yeah. Because I don't really like Steve Carell's comedy. I think he's funny. I like him in The mm -hmm. Office. The Office he's funny, yeah. But, like, a lot of his comedies I don't really like. I think he's kind of cool, but yeah. then when I saw that, I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Alright. Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li was awful. Oh, I remember that. And Chun-Li, I like Chun-Li. Chun-Li's a cool character. 
I'm gonna Later come back to the Prince of Persia because I want to actually read the professional reviews of that. Okay. Resident Evil Afterlife, who gives a fuck? Resident Evil Retribution. God, is that five? Five Resident Evil <laughs> yeah. movies? They keep hand them or hand Well, people go see them. So Silent Hill Revelation them. 3D is obviously junk because it's in 3D. <laughs> <laughs> if you're tagging 3D onto the title... <laughs> obviously junk. You fuck up. Need for Speed had uh, the guy from Breaking Bad. They oh, had Jesse. Uh, Aaron Paul. And I heard that was abysmal. Yeah. Hitman Agent 47 is terrible. Upcoming is Ratchet and Clank, the Angry Birds movie, Warcraft, Assassin's Creed. Angry Birds movie. Am I the only person who, Assassin's thinks, Creed. who thinks that casting Michael Fassbender as a, a Middle Eastern person? Hey, Jake Gyllenhaal was uh, Prince of Persia. I know, but at least they didn't even try with him. <laughs> <laughs> and Persians are white. I fucking I know. Back in the day, Persians That's, all, that's were, Hollywood. I'm pretty sure Persians are white. Or they used to be. Last white. time I checked. They have they have blue eyes. Or no, that's Syrians. Syrians. Syrians? Are, I don't know. They're close, aren't they? They're, I don't fucking know the anger, geography. You might so. anger a lot of people. I say. <laughs> Sorry to anybody out there. Just kidding. Nobody cares. Another Resident Evil called the Final Chapter. God, are you fucking serious? <laughs> uh, Uncharted, Sly Cooper, and Sonic the Hedgehog. Ugh. So Man. we are going to go to... I don't know. I, I have my hopes up for the Warcraft movie. I don't even get my hopes up for anything because anymore. Because I'm dead inside. I know, <laughs> I know you are. So, Warcraft movie, I literally... It just... It's like... What about the Halo movie it that just, never happened? It just blows right past me. Yeah. Like, if, they, I, if I go in there, if I go into the Warcraft movie and all of a sudden it's like Game of Thrones, I'll be like, okay, you've... You, you have my attention. Because if you did it nice and, like, you know, classy and good like that, then then you'd have something, I think. And then you'd make a lot of people, you'd make a lot of Warcraft fans, you know, happy. Mm -hmm. Because the movie, their mo their video game movie doesn't suck compared to, you know, all the other ones. No, it looks like... And it looks like they're planning to do more, obviously, because they're starting with this early of a story, which is orcs versus humans. Yeah, they're starting with it's the Thrall's far. father... It's Duratan versus uh, Anduin. and Anduin Lothar. Yeah. yeah. Anduin! That is says That's Thrall. Anduin Rin. Huh? The Anduin from Hearthstone is Anduin Rin. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, it's different. You don't fucking know I did. I did knew that because of the... I, fuck you, I knew that. Anyways, critical response. Prince God. Persia, The Sands of Time, holds a 36% rotten rating on aggregate review site Rotten Oof. Tomatoes. With an average score of 5 out of 10. Yeah. The critical consensus is it doesn't offer much in the way of substance, but Prince Persia is a suitably <laughs> entertaining swashbuckler. So it's All right, like so, everything else. It'll yeah, be like an entertaining movie, but not a good piece of film. And that's basically the goal. They're, they're there to make a movie. They're not really there necessarily to make a good movie. I like Jake Gyllenhaal. Did you see Nightcrawler? Yeah, it was great. Oh my god, that movie was so good. So good. So fucking good. Did, like you, he... see, did you see Unexpectedly Good Source Code? No, I didn't see that. Unexpectedly but I heard, was that like a 92 on... I was talking about that. It's got like really solid reviews. It got like a 92 on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, wait, check. Let's see if it. Yeah, I'll check. See if it is, because that I was like, damn, that's. I remember it coming out, and it was kind of just like a quietly came out, and not too many people talked about. You it. You know, I saw it, and I'm like, it looks pretty cliche. Oh, I'm, I'm, th I'm, thinking of, then... I'm thinking of Splice, I think. But yeah, I heard that was Splice. like insanely good. Fuck. Talking about Source Code. I know, but I, I kept think I kept thinking of Splice, which is a different movie. Jake Gyllenhaal has just been in a lot of movies I like. I liked. Yeah. October Sky was amazing. I love Donnie Darko. I love Donnie Darko. I love Bubble Boy. Um, uh, he's in uh, the day after tomorrow. I liked back in the day. I haven't watched it. Oh, that was that was that was all right for a while. That was entertaining. It, entertaining to use to use the word. Uh, I I ne I won't watch Brokeback Mountain because it's actually aside from the gay butt sex. I'm sure it's, it's a, well acted. It's a, no, it's a great movie. I have no doubt about that. I just the acting is great. I don't want to see it, man. You don't see anything. I don't care if they're you just gay. see the. You I don't want to think about it. You don't. I don't want to see them kissing because I like both of them. <laughs> Jarhead was excellent. Jarhead was. Jarhead was basically just a copy of Full Metal Jacket. Like it's basically the same movie. It's, yeah, similar. But concept. anyway, it's a, yeah on its own. It's a it's a good it's a good movie. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Um, but. Uh, Brokeback Mountain. It's a everyone. The acting is great in that. I don't doubt everybody that. in that. Movie I don't like seeing them make out though. Yeah, they do that a couple times. I didn't like that. 
And then not because I'm a homophobe. No, but but just because it's a, it's not my thing. Yeah. If he was making out with somebody else, that'd be cool. Uh, if well, I mean, girl, he makes out with his wife. Like he has sex with his wife. Yeah. Well, I mean. if I got a sandwich, the the the. the the gay makeouts in between, I'm not digging. It. Uh, <laughs> you can you can count me out on that part. You Zodiac skip. obviously great. Oh my god, Zodiac! It's not so like he's fucking good. he doesn't star in that. Movie. Nobody fucking knew about that movie. And then I I was like I was in a theater at Venice Beach and uh, in L. A. And it was me and my friend we were the only ones in the theater. And I was like, this fucking movie's fantastic. Why is nobody here? I will say it runs a little long. It it's drags. it is long. At the yeah. end, it drags. It did drag. Yeah, it was very long. I never saw a rendition. Never even heard a rendition. I didn't see Brothers. Brother. Oh, Brothers is the remake of the Danish movie. Prince Persia Source Code was great. End of Watch was fucking great, too. Heard that was good. Yeah, it was, uh... Is that the bike movie? No, that's... No, it's about cops. Oh, I got two extra lives just now. Alright, now we might have a better chance of taking on that, that dude. Prisoners. Oh, phenomenal. I never saw Prisoners, but I heard it was amazing. I would actually even give Hugh Jackman more of the credit for that one, because uh, yeah, he's Jake, in that. Jake Gyllenhaal's character is just pretty subdued in general. He's well, subdued. well acted, you know, you can right. do it well, but uh, it's really uh, Hugh Jackman who steals it in that. When he's losing his fucking mind over steals the show, having his daughter kidnapped, he's like legit losing it. Damn. That's uh, badass. I didn't see Enemy. I don't know what that is. A Nightcrawler was great. Nightcrawler. I haven't seen Southpaw yet. Oh, that's he's the when he's the boxer. Yeah, I want to see. That him. looks pretty good. He was shredded. He's really a good actor. He is. He he's probably enough, my favorite. He doesn't actor. get enough credit. Other, you know, his um, sister's a good actor too. Yeah, too bad she looks like uh, she's, awful. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's pretty. Uh, she's pretty lanky. Sherry Baby, she was really good in. Sherry Baby. Mm, you can see her topless. Yeah. Actually, shit, I think you just see her, like, full-blown naked, now that I think about it. See her all full-blown and everything? full-blown and everything. See, the reason I came in here was to learn one move and then leave. I'm so upset I have to go into work at 7.30. I have I gotta, to be oh, there. I gotta work, too. What time is it? It's 10. It's 10? <laughs> we might have to... We might have to cut... We might have to cut the cord here. If I can even get out of this fucking thing... Got a ledge grab. I got a grab bot. But yeah, so next time on Blown Cartridge, we will uh, go back and face Target Zan, the evil god of, of targets, the mind god of targets. And uh, yeah, we'll have some more fun in this dank ass mine that we're in right now. But uh, yeah, and so next time on Blown Cartridge, please come back and watch more of me and Josh talk about random shit while we play Banjo <laughs> Talk about... I don't even think we referenced the game no, at we, all. Well, we have a little bit, but not very much. <laughs> anyway, yeah, next time on Blood Cartridge. See you guys next time.